Good morning. Okay. We are going to do the National Day Journal now. Okay. And today is September 10th. So it's National TV Dinner Day. Do you know what that is? Okay. National TV Dinner Day is September 10th. Okay. And our questions, do you like TV dinners? What is your favorite TV show? And have you ever eaten dinner while watching TV? Now, our sentence tells us what a frozen dinner is. So before I get into explaining that, we can read it. A TV dinner is a frozen meal that you just heat and eat. Okay, so that's a TV dinner. Have you ever had one? I don't know if they're as popular as they used to be. I know that they've been around for a long time and they were popular because they made making dinner easy back way back when people used to cook um, dinners that were took a long time to make or were hard to make, okay? So do I like frozen TV dinners? So I have to answer the question since I'm the only one here and I will be honest, I don't really like, <laughs> I don't really like the frozen TV dinners. Um, but it depends on what kind, maybe some of them are okay, but I'm not really, I don't really care for those. What is your favorite TV show? Hmm, that is a tough one. I don't watch as much TV as I used to. Um, I don't know. I usually just watch what's on Netflix. I'm trying to think of a TV show and I can't think of one, I'm sorry. Um, Maybe, I know Friends used to be my favorite TV show, and I still watch it sometimes on Netflix or or um, streaming, streaming apps. Okay, have you eaten dinner while watching TV? I guess I have. Well, just regular dinners, so not frozen dinners. Okay, and our sentence, a TV dinner is a frozen meal, just heat me. And what are our, our opinions of TV dinners? Do we think they're bad, delicious, or frozen? Now, frozen's not really an opinion, but more of a fact. They are frozen dinners. And I'm going to show you something, too, that you can do when you don't know what something is, okay? You can go to a search engine like Google and type in the word TV dinner so we can see pictures okay so this is what they look like they're from they go back as far as the 1950s let's see what they used to look like in the 1950s okay wow they're colorful they usually have a vegetable and a meat, some kind of meat like turkey meatloaf chicken okay and potatoes Okay, so those things are not really my favorite. So I don't really eat, like the fried chicken's really popular. I don't care for fried chicken. Um, now I have had a frozen pizza and different kinds of frozen foods that are not bad. They sell pretty good frozen foods at, at Trader Joe's. I like, but these I don't don't really care for and I would not be surprised if you didn't really either but there are kid ones kid cuisine maybe you might like spaghetti they have things like spaghetti macaroni and cheese pizza that is probably something you would like chicken nuggets so kid cuisine is frozen meals for kids okay also not the kind of food I eat though. Okay, so I am going to write in my journal. Write my name. And the date. It's September 9, 10, 20. So National TV Dinner Day is today, September oops, 2020, period. A blank is a frozen meal that you just heat in it or just heat me. <laughs> I keep adding the that and that's not in there. A TV dinner is a frozen meal you just heat in it. <laughs> I keep adding an extra word, sorry about that. 
A TV dinner, okay. Just heat and eat. Okay, I think TV dinner is bad, delicious, or frozen. I think, well, that's a hard choice. I don't want to pick delicious because I'm not. Some, some things that are frozen are good, like some frozen pizzas are good. Some frozen meals, but I guess I'll circle bad. The ones that are more, you think of as TV dinners are ones that I don't really care for, like that kind of. <laughs> so I hate to say it, but I'll circle bad. I think TV dinner is bad. Write a sentence about TV dinners. TV dinners are not my favorite meal. <laughs> okay, so we color our TV dinner. First, I'm going to color the utensils. Okay, so I'll color them gray because they're kind of a silver gray color. Forks and knives. Okay, and then I would normally color the plate, but it's going to be hard to color the plate behind all that all the food without coloring the food. So I'll just color the food. So I think these are peas, which I like peas. And I will eat frozen peas on occasion. I like, I do like peas. So I'm gonna color the peas green. And these look like mashed potatoes. So I'm going to leave those alone. I'm not going to, maybe I'll color a little bit of yellow because sometimes there's butter on the mashed potatoes, but they're normally white. And this, I don't know what that is. I guess that must be the meat because most of these dinners have some kind of meat, meatloaf, chicken, turkey, things like that. So I guess I'll color that brown because. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be, but it's some kind of meat. Oops, that's not what I meant to color it. Well, that doesn't look very appetizing. Okay, now you draw a TV dinner. So I'm going to draw I guess I will just draw my kind of frozen TV dinner. draw pizza because I'll eat a frozen pizza once in a while but not really dinners like these okay so that would be a frozen dinner that I drew so whatever you would draw if you've had a frozen meal they're not all bad but maybe there's one that you like you can draw okay so that's it